Well, tonight at 9 on CBS, you can catch Gail King's exclusive interviews with some of the country's top musicians leading up to Sunday's Grammy Awards. And we are lucky enough to welcome Gail to Good Day for a little preview. Ow, ow. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Gail. Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> How are you Is this fabulous Cody, morning? Courtney, and Lori, everybody there? Everybody so, there? Cody, <laughs> Cody called out sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just the ladies. It's just he Courtney called and Lori. Out sick. Oh. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Hi, Courtney and Lori. Hi. Tell We're Cody he's missing out. He oh, is missing he's out. definitely missing out. Definitely missing out. <laughs> but we we can handle this. We got this. We got this. Oh yes. I'm 100%. very excited about tonight. Oh, so are I'm we? I'm very psyched about tonight. We've been lucky enough to catch a little. Look at. Go ahead. Well, Gail. look at the names that we got. Yeah. Look at the names that we got. You know, when you put out an ask like this, and I know you know you dream big, think big. Mm -hmm. I'm from the if you don't ask, you don't get school. Right. But you never <laughs> think everybody's going to say yes, but they did. They all said yes. They sure did. And we've been lucky enough yeah. to get a little sneak preview throughout yeah. the morning. So we've seen all these celebs that you've been talking to, all the interviews. I got to ask you, which one was the most surprising? You went through all these, you know, different scenarios with these guys. What, what interview was the most surprising for you? Well, I mean, I think there's something from everybody that that I didn't know before, you know? I didn't know that Billie Eilish, she, she had sang about her sadness and her darkness and deep yeah. depression. I mm -hmm. didn't know that she worried about if she would ever make it to 18. She did, she's 18, she's out of the darkness doing well. Uh, here's Blake Shelton at 43 thinking, he is, his his days of having a hit song are over. I told him, look in the mirror, you're still Blake freaking Shelton. <laughs> Uh, here's Gwen Stefani. Here's Gwen Stefani thinking, I'll never find love again, yeah. to hear their backstory of how the two of them fell in love. Lizzo, who's a band nerd, she says, who was told that, you know, you're never going to do anything as a band nerd, that she's been working for a very long time. They hit it this big, eight, nomina uh, eight nominations. She's not going home empty-handed. That's amazing. Then right? the Jonas Brothers. Nick pulled the plug years ago, left a lot of bruised feelings. Um, and it was Nick again who got the group back together. And now I'm a sucker for you is the first number one hit <laughs> that they've had together. I mean, and then Little Nas X. I first met him in August yeah. when he first hit it big with that song. He did that song for $50. $50. And now he's living in L.A. Well, he did a studio, uh, $20 Tuesdays, $30 <laughs> beat, 20 Get plus 30 is 50. That's package. how much it cost. I know. That's how much it cost him. And now he's living in L.A. on his own, his first apartment. We met him there. So, I mean, you know, we, we didn't want to be the typical interview where you sit in two little chairs. Yeah. We wanted to do something that you got to see them in a different light, and they all got to play. They all played along. <laughs> Whose idea do you think it was, guys, to go to the spa with the Jonas Brothers? Oh, I, uh, that had to have been your hey, idea. Come on. It had to have been your idea. I would have never had the nerve to ask them. It was Nick Jonas's You're idea. You're kidding. What are you this, guys sitting this, in? This Wii Spa, that was his idea because he actually goes there. It relaxes him. Okay. We're in a room where it's 123 degrees. It helps with his vocal cords. It clears his head. Oh. And so when he said, would Gail be willing to do that, you didn't have to ask me twice. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes, Mr. Jonas. But it was great. That's fantastic. It was great fun. Okay, we have to ask you about your grand dog. Who is this little love muffin for, baby? I know. I know, Scott. Oh, sure. Listen, if Will is a good a father to a two-legged uh, human being <laughs> as he is to this dog, I don't have anything to worry about. That's I told so him the great. other day because I said, you know, Will, I think he's still jumping on people too much. He goes, Mom, he's a puppy. I said, yes, but I think that there's a better way to He did not appreciate my advice, I think I know a thing or two. That's so and great. And Will goes, no, I, I have this, I have this. But we are nuts about this dog. Nuts oh, with a cat. So cute. So, so cute. Okay, so he was, he was a rescue dog. He was a oh. rescue dog from Mexico. Fantastic. So he used to speak Spanish. Now he only knows English, but he was a rescue dog living under a, living under a car in Mexico. Oh, my God. He's done okay, You have a bilingual grand dog. Yes. I love it. Okay, so, yeah. Gail, I don't know if you've heard, but we're a little nuts around here at Good Day. We have this game. It's sweeping the nation. We call it Trivia Toast. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's Trivia Toast. So today... What's it called? called? Trivia Toast. Okay? Trivia Toast. Okay, yes. good. So today, I specifically tailored the questions around you... And I don't know, you have a bestie. Her name is Oprah. Yeah, good lady. Uh, okay. Take questions around you two. Okay. Now, I asked the questions earlier this morning. Lori answered them, but I refused to show her the answers because I would let you actually give us the correct answer. Are you ready for the questions and you give us the answers? 
Yes, who answered them? Who answered Lori. them? Gail, I did, but here's the thing. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> here's the thing. She threw okay. some curveballs at me. I did. I she did. even she even kind of messed up the question I did. a little bit. So here's let me show you the first one. Okay. <laughs> so the first question okay. was All what right, Courtney, the, go. <laughs> what are the names of Gail's kids? Oprah's godchildren. And the options I gave her, I purposely threw her off and gave her all quote unquote male names. So I gave her Will and Curry. Not Shaniqua and Raheem. <laughs> That's not one. <laughs> No, Gail. no, Shanika and no, Raheem. I did not do that to her. I didn't. I gave her Will and Kirby, uh -huh. Charles and Will, uh -huh. or Kirby and Nelson. She said oh. Charles and Will. Miss mm. Gail. Oh my gosh. Who Lori, are security. <laughs> okay. Lori, you may leave, Lori. Gail, Gail, let you me, just lost Gail. 10 points. Gail, let me, let me also oh my tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Courtney said her two sons. I did because I intentionally picked male names, oh. and so I, I tried to like mess oh. her up a little bit. One of our viewers did well, yell, well, even said she should change her name. Courtney, answer. that's no fair. Thank I you. know. That's no now fair. Now who needs if to leave say, the building? That's Gail. no fair. Now who needs to go? <laughs> yeah, Courtney, you are dismissed. <laughs> Because it's favorite daughter Kirby and favorite yep. son Will. Yes. That's that right. Makes it but so Courtney, easy. if you're gonna play, if you're gonna play, you gotta ask the questions correctly. You're so right. That's not fair. You're right. Okay. That's well, how not about fair the second to Lori. one? It's Thank not you. fair. Let me. Okay. How about the second one? This one I did not try to trick her. Okay. True. Here True. we go. I said okay. Gail and Oprah became friends over fill in the blank. You came, mm -hmm. became friends over drinks. You became friends over a blizzard, mm -hmm. or you became friends over a breakup. Mm -hmm. She said These over are good a breakup. Questions. I know, right. right? Oh she my said God, over a Lori! What's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> so, Lori, it's so I'm so I, I feel so honored that you paid such close attention to my life that you don't know bleep about me, Gail. Because Oprah and I became friends over a blizzard. A Courtney, blizzard. these are good questions. A blizzard. Yes. You like the questions? Okay, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, yay. I like so the great. questions. Number one, Lori, I don't drink, so that's an easy one. That, <laughs> yep. that's a I easy, didn't go that's there. That's an easy pass. Oh, I didn't yeah. go there, but okay, I figured all the best is, you know, the, the best. Gal, you're amazing. We can't so wait to watch your special tonight, 9 o'clock on our sister station, CBS. The best thing There are, that no, more to CBS. There are no more questions. There are no more questions. No more questions. That can't was so talk fun. Anymore. Gail, how soon can you get here? Oh, can you gosh. catch a flight? We need. We have an extra that, chair right next to us. <laughs> that's what producers do. That's right. That's what producers Darn do. It. Hilarious. Joy Thank killers. You so much. Joy killers. <laughs> See you guys. She Thanks said it, not us. Thanks see you on guys. the other side of the break. <laughs> She's so great. I love her. She's I just so I wish great. she was just sitting right here right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>